Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, and welcome. My name's Nurse Richard the Wax Wizard. Thanks for joining me. Slightly different episode this, um, and I'll tell you the reason why, because I get asked this question quite a lot um, in the comments, and it is, um, do you need your ears clean? And if so, what do you do? Uh, do you go and see somebody else? Um, the answer is no. I don't, it's not that I don't trust anybody. Um, but uh, what's I saying? If you want the job done properly, do it yourself. So I do it myself. Now, it's not possible to do it, with the, the way that I do most people with the uh, endoscope and the suction, because this is the endoscope here. So it normally has a, an iPod on there, that's the monitor, and that goes in the ear, and then the suction tube there goes in the ear as well. So I wouldn't be able to see what was going on because the screen would be uh, there. So it's technically impossible to do. So strictly speaking, it is possible if you cast that to another smart device. Um, but uh, I've had a go at just examining ears with the endoscope and it's really difficult to do uh, just by yourself anyway. So how do I go about doing it? I will show you. So instead of using the endoscope, because I find that uh, it can be uncomfortable, can possibly just jab yourself when you're doing it on, your, uh, on yourself, and I've done that a couple of times, don't advise it. I use one of these, um, it's called a scope around. Um, now there's a load of these there out there on the internet and they all describe themselves as uh, wax removal cameras come with little tools and scoops and hooks and what have you. Not a fan, not going to lie. I think this should only be used for examining your ears to see if you can, uh, to see if there's a problem there in the first place that, uh, that means you need to go and uh, see somebody like myself. Um, so what's good about these is here, and I'll, I'll put the image that, it, that this is casting on the other side of me, there, oh, up there, not sure yet, not sure yet. Um, so you get these LED lights on it, so that's uh, the camera on there, and you connect that, you just download a simple app from the App Store, and it casts it, I'll try and put me on it, and you know, it casts it onto the um, onto your smartphone, smart device, you can even cast that onto a, a screen, should you so wish. Um, but what's really good about this one is the scope round comes with these specular, like that, let me show you. There you go, comes with a specular like that, and that's what helps you, it keeps it a lot safer. Even for me, you know, to make sure I'm not jabbing it in too far, um, because it's it's tapered like that, so when you put it in your ear, uh, there's not a risk of popping it in too far. There is one of these, I believe, that comes with um, um, its own monitor, so you don't need to uh, faff about connecting it to an app. Uh, you can just um, you just plug in and play, literally, because the, that goes to a wire and then it's its own inbuilt monitor that you can have a look in front of you. It takes videos and pictures and, and all that palaver. Anyway, I'm going to have a look inside this one first. The reason is this one is spotlessly clean, and I'll tell you why, because I've just recorded this whole video uh, of me doing this one, and I realised I didn't press record on this device here, so I've got nothing to show you. <coughs> so I'll show you what a good job it did anyway. So let's have a peek. Uh, inside here. So let's have a look at this device to see where it's going. There you go. So there you can see my eardrum, can't you? It's nice and clear. It's a bit misty. We're just waiting for a second. That's it. And then it kind of demists. Actually, it's upside down that one. Get it the right way up. Said it's not easy, didn't I? There we go. So you can get a right good shot of my eardrum there, which looks uh, nice and healthy, and you can't see there's a look, not even a look. This is where the wax was stuck. You had a few little bits around the edges there, but they've all gone. And I'll I'll show you how I've done that. Um, but first, I'll I'll show you the other one that we're gonna we work, that we're gonna treat. Let's have a look. So again, you can see my eardrum in the distance there, nice and clear. And it's this bit I'm after, the base of my ear canal, because I'll be honest, it gets really itchy and irritable. So it's not fully blocked, it's nothing that's going to be affecting my hearing. But uh, as you can see, especially that uh, darkened one there, gets a bit sharp. And uh, you can just feel it kind of tickling and niggling away at you. So I'm uh, going to get rid of that. But as for the eardrum, it looks nice and healthy, it looks good. So how I do it, let me show you this, is like I said, can't do it with the suction. Could do it with the, um, with the irrigator machine, um, but um, I find this one's a lot more comfortable. Uh, actually, it looks like a kitchen spray bottle, doesn't it? This is called a Bionics. 
and this is, oh, I can just see on the end of there. There you go. That's what I've just got out my other one. <laughs> it's stuck on the end of there. I didn't spot that. <laughs> Let me get rid of that. In fact, let's get a new tip. There you go. Do infection control properly, shall we? Seeing as I am a nurse after all. So yeah, you basically just put warm water in here. Um, there's a, um, a, like a gauge on here that says uh, cool, okay, too hot. Um, it's a bit like the ones that you get on the side of a fish tank, I suppose. But um, I'm, I, I don't particularly trust those. So I just dip a thermometer in it. Um, so what you have to do first, this is the, the tank, that, uh, the receiver that comes with it when you're squirting the water in your ear, but I actually prefer the old fashioned one. Uh, these are nude tanks, more comfortable. Um, so as it comes out, hopefully you can see that. It comes out in three streams. There you go, can you see that? So what that means is it doesn't shoot the jet directly at the, at the eardrum, it just shoots it all the way around the edges and fills up the ear canal and when the water's coming out, it hopefully uh, loosens that wax and that wax falls out with it into the cup underneath your ear. So, should we have a go at that before we do that? You need to uh, prime it, clear the line. By that, what I mean is, so the water that's sitting in this bit and in that bit will have gone uh, a bit colder. So you always need to get rid of that bit of water first. So you can get your finger underneath it just to make sure that it's um, nice and warm again. There we go, that's just right. There are a few conditions where you shouldn't uh, use these. Say, if, uh, certainly if you've had a history of recent infections or currently got an infection or had a perforated eardrum or had problems with uh, fungal infections or there's lots of contraindications for it. Um, so that's why we, we run through that with everybody. But I know I've not got any contraindications, so I'm happy to do it myself. So how this goes is pop this towel on my shoulder. This is what I use for all the patients who have irrigation and then like I said, it's tricky this, it's not easy. Pop that in the ear, pop that so that bit sits underneath your ear. So let's try and get that under there. And you basically just squirt it gently like that. You might be able to hear the squeaking and squelching. So you can do it as gently as you want, but even if you do it like that quick, it's absolutely fine. It doesn't, doesn't hurt in the slightest. It feels quite, uh, quite pleasant actually. It's like scratching an itch that you can't quite reach, <laughs> if you know what that means. So I'm just gonna wiggle it around a little bit in the hope that it'll get that bit that we was after. There we go, so let's stop that and uh, just in a nice patience to do this, if you just tilt your head to the side before I take the cup away, you see it allows all that excess water to drain out, which we've done. And let's give that a right good dry. Cameras and water, not a fan of each other. So let's have a look see if that's managed to shift that little bit that we was after. Doesn't always go first time. So again, see my eardrum there. And it's got rid of some, hasn't it? In fact, it's got rid of most of it. It's certainly got rid of that black one there. So all that remains there is just a little bit of skin debris there. I'll have one more go, just to see if I can get that. Like I said, I'm really not bothered if it, if it doesn't come. Not the end of the world. Right. Let's have a go at this again. Pop that, and this edge is tapered as well, so you can't um, you can't insert the the nozzle too far. You know, just like look, look the same way that a specular is. All right, let's see if that's done the trick. Give it a dry again, a scratch. So yeah, the reason why I do it when it's like that is it gets gets a bit itchy for me. It doesn't really affect my hearing too much. Well, it would if I didn't do it, but just gets really itchy and a bit irritable. So let's have a peek, see if it's managed to get that last bit. Yeah, there we go. Pretty much managed to get all of that debris down there. So let's have one last look at the eardrum. I've got to say, really good the image that you get on this. Well, you guys know because you, you, you've seen the endoscope images. And I'll be honest, for a 
like a shop bought one that's right up there it's really really good anyway so yeah i will put a link to those it's got a scope around um if you're interested in getting one of them which uh, it's, it's one of the few that i actually would recommend anyway i hope you enjoyed that a quick tour around the inside of my ears uh, but for now take care of yourself see you later bye bye